send me the link to it. Yeah, let me send you the form link. Okay, so let's let's look up what Dead by Daylight is. I guess they're so desperate they're using Nicolas Cage. There. Anyway, let's see here. Hey, disconnected survivors will be replaced with bots. Okay, Hiroshi, I need to read it. I want to read it. But I did hear about that. Added support for new perks for bots, dramaturgy, and plot. Would you send it? Would you send? Oh, you sent it. I sent it to you directly. All right, let's see. Dramaturgy activates wow. while you are healthy. Wow, they actually did it. They did what? They actually put Nicolas Cage in it. Yeah, that's cool. Wait, what? really? Yeah, he's actually in You're the game. The, uh, I'll well, I mean, I'll not in the game yet. I think yeah, he's in the player test build. Oh. Here, here, look. There you go, Mariah. All right, let's see. So, what do you know? <coughs> That's Nicolas Cage. That's freaking Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage. As a okay. killer or as a as survivor? A survivor? Oh, okay. I wished he was a killer. That would be fucking amazing. Nicolas yeah, Cage yeah. is just the killer. Okay. Mm. Progress and safety data has been copied from the label. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Feedbacks and bug reports. Features. Disconnect but replaced by bots. This, all right, all right. Let's start over. Let's hear what I know. I already know that bots are going to replace disconnected survivor. This is a huge, that's good. huge, that's good. That's very good. That's literally people. People's been asking for that since the game came out. Yeah. Why wasn't that a thing like since the beginning of the game? That would make I, I, so I much sense know. to have that. Actually, no. The why thing that players asked the most were more were more game modes. I mean that would also be cool. Yeah, yeah. But... I think that the, the, well, it's the most long-awaited thing. Okay, added support for new perks for bots, drama, turkey, and plot twist. The, I don't know. the Nick Cage perks. Oh, I, I don't know what they do. Consist pop-ups now show earlier. Added new character portraits. For... <gasps> That's really good. That's really nice. New visual for store flags. No one gives a fuck about that shit. And if you do care about that shit, then you're then you're a loser. Okay, give me a second. There. Is that better? There. Hey, Naomi. All right. Content. New survivor, Nicolas Cage. Perks. All right. Dramaturgy. Activates while you are Turgy. healthy. Or dramaturgy. Or when you are healthy. So you can't use it when you're injured. While running, press the active ability button 2 to run with knees high for 0.5 seconds. Wait, what? With knees high. Half a second. Scream, but nothing happens. Then gain... What, what does that mean? Knees high? What the fuck? What? I, I think it literally is just a description of, like, what happens. Oh, like, he literally, okay. like, super, like, fast running. Okay. Then gain 25% haste for two seconds. That is pretty good that's really fucking good actually followed by an unknown effect one of the followings you get exposed wait what so it, you get a random effect of one of those four wait what one of them is the exposed status <laughs> that means you could get instant downed the same effect cannot happen twice in a row that's that's interesting Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Gain another 25% hate. Oh, so it's like a random perk. Mm -hmm. Gain a random item in hand. That's interesting. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. Hiroshi. What? This is the greatest perk of all time. <laughs> Exposed for 12 seconds. What? Screams, but nothing happens. That is the most random... That is the most random perk I've ever seen. That's gonna be enjoyable, because... That's gonna to be... Dude, honestly, honestly. Randomly. Just imagine, you're just... You do this perk, and you get a fucking random med kit. Yeah. Holy shit, that, that, that's awesome. <clears throat> it causes, wait, right, causes exhaustion. Oh, okay, so, it, so it's an exhaustion. You can only use it when you're healthy. 
Okay, okay. So if you have Domizer, that's great. Scene partner activates when you are in the killer's terror radius. Okay, when you look at the killer, scream, then the then see the killer's aura for a f oh wow. There is a chance you will scream again if you do for additional scenes. That's actually pretty powerful. That's actually really strong. If you have calm spirit, you pretty much have wall hacks. Hmm. It does have a very hefty However, cooldown. It does tell it does tell the killer your position. I mean only if you scream and calm spirit deafens your scream. Oh, okay. But then again, calm spirit is a fucking piece of shit perk. It's fucking terrible. This will be a great combination with Calm Spirit. You're going to see a lot of people with this, with Calm Spirit. I still think this is the best perk of all time. Like, already, this is the best perk. If it does what I think it does, amazing. See, partner. Oh, oh, plot twist. Holy shit. All right, so that, plot that twist. looks interesting. Activates when you are injured. Okay, so it's the exact opposite of drama dramaturgy. Press the active ability button while crouched and motionless to silence. To silently enter the dying state. What the fuck? That's fucking terrible. Wait, but read the rest. When using plot twist to enter the dying state, you leave no blood pools, make no noise, and you can fully recover from the dying state. Okay, so it's like a reverse no mither. When you recover by... <sighs> Excuse me, sorry. When... Using plot twist and just using the pool. When you recover by. Oh my god, you know, I just realized. Hmm? You can fully recover from the dying state. Yep. Uh, when you recover by yourself using plot twist, you are fully healed instantly. And holy shit. So is Nick Cage gonna be super fucking broken? Holy shit. I don't think so. No, think these, are, these, these are actually really good design i mean they're, they're they're completely stupid the perk deactivates if you recover by yourself by any means the perk reactivates when the exit gate is oh yeah huh. so you could it's, it's a one-time use two-time use oh yeah two-time use holy shit i think this is the first time i've ever seen three perks in a row where i have no problems with the only pr all right so let's see um let's talk about the obvious the good these perks are completely original they're very unique and they sound amazingly fun um bad news let's see bad news um <clears throat> get the fuck up child not really bad news the only bad news i can say is this perk plot twist you want to know what's going to happen Everyone in the first week, they're not going to use this perk. You know why? Why? Because the killer is going to know everyone's going to use this perk, and they're going to use Deerstalker. This is what's <laughs> going to happen. Uh, let's say I'm playing the Wraith. Wraith is very good at hit and runs. So that means he could get everyone injured very quickly. Not down anybody, but injure them. If everyone is injured, someone's going to go to the corner of the map, use plot twist, and then just hide there in the corner and fully recover. And that's pretty strong. That's very good. But the killer will have Deerstalker. So if the killer goes near the corner of the map, he's going to find them instantly. Because you know why? Because that's exactly something that I would do. Hmm. But I wonder, um, like, how fast does it take to recover? Um, 28 seconds or less, I think. Does plot twist speed that up, maybe? No, I don't think so. But there is a perk that does do it called, um, I forgot what it was called, but it was actually pretty, it's actually a decent, it's actually a decent perk. It allows you to recover faster and can make you move while recovering. I mean, Unbreakable does that. Technic, oh, wait a minute. Recover by any means. Okay, so you can't really use this perk with Unbreakable. By the mean? way, I was like rolling down and looking at the other stuff, and the other stuff actually looks really interesting. 
Oh, there's more. <gasps> there's more. There's a <gasps> lot more. There's a lot more. No way. They're finally giving the ring killer. They're giving Onion Girl a buff. Please tell me it's a buff. Projection. Project to a TV now apply uh, three fourths of a stack of condemned to all survivors not carrying a curse tape. It was one stack. That is terrible. They're nerfing her. Wait, three fourths of a stack to all survivors, but now it's not. But it's all of them across oh, the map. Oh, wait a minute. But now it's no oh, longer just nearby oh, survivors. Oh, that's actually. Okay, before I read this, let me tell you what was wrong with uh, with Onion Girl. Um, she was by far one of the worst killers in the game. Maybe like right. top four, like, like the top four of the worst killers. She was really bad. What, what, what made her bad? Um, her power was, it was just very, it didn't get the job done fast enough. Teleporting was very good, but it was somewhat random on where you go, but it was still decent. However, her power, was like a weaker version of someone that was a raid of stealth killer hmm. like even though ghostface isn't really a stealth killer if you just move around with the power he it was still better than onion girls and that's saying a lot because that's fucking terrible to, that's you don't play ghostface like that because if you do it's not going to work playing ghostface really badly was still better than playing on your very well um, however, there's one thing that the Onion Killer can do, and it's called a Condemned Build, and this was by far the most annoying, most boring, most ridiculous thing you could do. If you send yourself to a small map like the game, if you have like a certain perk, or a, a certain add-on, and you teleport across the map and you just keep infecting people with condemned you don't have to hook anybody you can just slug them and just teleport and get them condemned when they're fully condemned if you doubt them you can instantly kill them that sounds pretty good right normally yeah. it's pretty shit that's a terrible way to play the game because it's just it's it's, it's terrible but with those add-ons with with a certain add-on it like builds condemned even faster and it's ridiculous so the fact that they're getting rid of people who are carrying a cursed tape that's a very good sign okay. so let's, let's listen to the next one the time to disable after the actually another thing what yeah it was this one that for some reason you teleporting to a tv the cool down for the tv to turn back on was slower than the survivors turning it off. That's dumb. That's fucking stupid. It should be the exact opposite. If a survivor turns off his TV, it should take a long time because the survivor is going out of their way to do it. Yeah. So, the, like, every survivor was like, oh, I'm not going to turn off the TV because if the killer uses it, th it's a win win for me. It'll be worse for It'll them worse. to use it's their that... ability. Exactly. That's so dumb. I know. Why would, yeah. they, why would they make it like that? I, I do not know. Yeah. So the time a TV disabled after the audio projects has been reduced to 70 seconds. That is huge. I keep yeah, thinking you're saying onion one, this look, whole time. Look at that one after. They, all, they the also time... changed that. <clears throat> the time TV disabled after a survivor removes the curse tape has been increased to 90. Which was, that is literally I just talked about this. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. Yeah. I still feel like this should be shorter. It should be sixty seconds, and the curse tape should be one hundred seconds. I know, but this works. I think I think that because if you get a t if you get a tape, the cl the closest TV that you can go to to turn off, to get rid of the curse tape, is literally the farthest TV. Yeah, so like if you turn off a TV, it will like it doesn't matter if another survivor goes to the other TV, it will always be the farthest TV. So, and it takes like twenty seconds straight just to go across the map. So I mean, maybe a hundred seconds was good. Lower seconds, we could look at the you know. Eh. Projection now has a fifteen second cooldown since there's no range limit condemned effect. That makes sense. I guess that makes sense. Because if you could just teleport and give everyone the stacks over and over, that makes sense. 
these are really good changes. Gotcha. These are really good changes. Go. Getting Go hit by, with a basic attack Shit. while carrying a curse state will apply one condemned stack. That is huge. That is huge. When a survivor's carrying a curse tape is hooked, all other survivors gain one stack to come in, and the tape is destroyed. That is huge. Wait, well, so what does that mean? <coughs> If you hook a survivor that's carrying a cursed tape, all other survivors gain one condemned, which means they're closer for, for you to instantly kill them. Ah, okay. That is huge. And, okay, good. Holding a cursed tape no longer passively builds condemned. That makes sense. I can understand that. With Like, the killer has to go out of their way to, like, build condemned rather than the survivors slowly doing them. I personally believe I don't like this idea. I feel like it should it should passively build condemned, but incredibly slowly now. Like two hundred percent slower now. Oh wait, curse tapes can now be placed in any TV other than the one they retrieved it from. Mm. That that's a big oof. But all of these other ones were buffs to the killer, except for this one. This one just seems yeah. like a more balanced Check one. out the demanifestation okay. now. The Onyo can no longer be stunned while demanifestation. Oh, thank you. It makes no sense that you should get stunned by it. Thank you. Wait, thank you. So she can get stunned while using that? Yeah. If you are... um. Yeah, she used to be get stunned. It was fucking dumb. It made her powers incredibly weak. Chases are prevented when demanifested demanifested, making it more difficult to keep track of their own your position. Thank you. Demanifestation now removes bloodlust. Thank you. That's also a good one. You know what? This makes play with your food very strong on her. This one's easy. This mini game's okay, easy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. There's there's pros and cons to this, but I think this is one of the best like updates a killer has ever gotten. She was in desperate need of a rework, and the, the the it sounds like they're trying to get rid of that playstyle that I mentioned before, that very unhealthy playstyle. Yeah. Wow, that's that's really good. Hook grabs, grabbing grabs from unhooked survivors have been removed. Aw. I mean, yes, it was stupid, but I missed this. <coughs> I missed this. Have you ever heard of hatch standoffs? Oh my god, before I continue on, Hiroshi, have you ever heard of hatch standoffs? No, what is that? Okay, so before, like back in the day, the game had no end game collapse. You know, like when you close the, when all like the exit gates were opened, like the, the timer went down. Mm -hmm. That didn't exist. Oh. That did, but... that did not exist. So the game so... lasted forever. So then the what were people doing? Now here's the thing, I mean, they would just have to leave the executes, they'll, they'll just have to, like the killer would have to go to the executes, hit them, and then they'll still teabag, and then once they down them, they'll crawl out immediately. Hmm. Now because there was no end game collapse, you know what else was in the game? What? Killers could not close the hatch. Oh. So this is what happened, if the killer kills three survivors before all the gens are done, if the killer found the hatch, he wouldn't be able to close it. However, he would be able to grab a survivor going in the hatch, but only if the killer, only if the survivor goes in the hatch, that the, the survivor would have to actively go in the hatch. Oh, so kind of like hook grabbing, but with kinda, hatch. Yeah, it's a lot easier because, you know, if the, survivor, if the survivor goes first, the killer can grab them, but if the killer mistimes it and hits the survivor, the survivor can go in the hatch while the killer gets a cooldown. Ah, uh, and then you'd have to do this with like multiple survivors? Oh no no, only one survivor. Most oh, of the time it's one. one survivor because the, it's the last survivor. That's called a hatch standoff. Yeah, that, that sounds dumb. Here's the thing, there's no timer, so it lasted forever. Right. There's a guy named Marth, or the entity's left hand, both of them. I'm going to say the entity's left hand. You know how long one of his hatch standoffs lasted? 
how long? It lasted over 10 hours. What the fuck? 10 hours. How did, how did he have a... Like, someone literally, like, stayed until, like, wow. Literally, literally. He stayed on top of the hatch and waited for the survivors to go in. And he was like, I'm not fucking moving. What the fuck? Yeah. And after 10 hours, the survivors finally gave up. He tried to go in, and the killer grabbed him and hooked him. And the survivor called him sweaty. <laughs> but the survivor stayed there. Why don't you just disconnect from the game? <laughs> Why would you call him sweaty if he stayed there the whole time? I think I think it's called the le- the entity's left hand, dude. That's like nothing. I like th- there's some reports of people like staying up for like days. The fuck? Days, man. Like like four or five days. I would just fucking disconnect. That's That's fucking ridiculous, man. Alright, anyways. (laughs) So, yes, Naomi, I've heard of hatch standoffs. I'm grateful I never got around that shit. (coughs) Okay, let's go back. Grabs from unhooking survivors have been removed. This means that the awkward mind game when unhooking has been eliminating, helping to prove in game play flow. Thank you. You still aren't safe while unhooking as the killer will be able to still to hit you twice before you can escape so now i have a hit them while they're problem. grabbing people then. i have a big problem with this yes it's very unhealthy this needed to happen however this teaches survivors to play unsafe even though it says like you still aren't safe you don't need to be safe you already have many things to be safe as a survivor so this is somewhat misguided this is huge for survivors the mind game of grabbing survivors off a hook it was always dumb i never thought it was a good design however i thought it there had to be implications implications that survivors i'm not sure what the right word is but there has to be a survivor that needs there needs to be something that needs to teach survivors on how to unhook properly you can't just like like if if you're being chased by the killer and the killer's chasing you whatever you can't just go in those in the hook and unhook them i think that's fucking stupid however i mean if if you did go for that though but you would still get down yes however it doesn't matter because the the, the survivor that, that gets unhooked they now have base kit borrowed time which means they can tank a hit right which is that, that that has to be that that has to be in the game in my opinion that that's very that's very good it's very healthy for the game it prevents tunneling however it just means that the survivor going for the unhook doesn't have to play smart he doesn't have to be like well oh, no no so wait here's the thing so if you are able to hit them while they're attempting the unhook instead of having to do the grab shenanigans what if you can down them before they can actually unhook the player i mean it's the same thing as just grabbing them but i mean well i mean yeah but you don't have to precisely time it on your end i mean if, if that's the case then i'll be okay with it but that he, is but, if that's the yeah, case. But here's the thing. Here's the here's where my argument gets tumbled, and because of it, I can't argue with it. The reason why hook grabs aren't in the game is because you don't get killers like me who just deliberately camps. Some players camp hardcore, and the grabs make it very unfun for the survivor. So this is to prevent face camping. So I'm sorry, everybody. Even though I know I'm in the right and survivors need to learn how to do safe unhooks, I'm sorry. But until there's a real way to beat face camping, the hook grabs, they have to be removed. Well, I mean, they would just, I mean, they would have to, like, be able to do the unhooks properly either way. So it doesn't really... I mean, either way. Removing but... the hook thing, like, doesn't really change that what does change is that you know the face camping is less strong then exactly and to make anything to make face camping less strong i'll take that any day even though it teaches survivors to play unsafe if it makes face camping like less efficient i will take it it's a double-edged sword it's like saying hey hiroshi um your favorite food is like eggplant salad right 
No, it's not. Eggplant Parmesan? Yes. Alright, it's like saying, Hiroshi, I'm giving you unlimited eggplant parmesan for free, but every time you eat a bite, a random dog dies. I'll take that. Exactly. We all love <laughs> dogs. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> you heard it here. It's like that. It's like that. Anyways. <laughs> to add a brand new part. Oh, they're changing brand new part. Thank you. <laughs> Brand new part used to make gens like 20 seconds long. To walk repair action is replaced with install brand new part. During the installation, you'll be faced with a difficult skill check. Um. Wait, what? Wait, what? I don't get this. Toolbox repair action is replaced with install brand new part. Okay, so th these two literally aren't different. The, 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 the same shit. But upon succeeding the skill check, the generator requires charges are reduced by 10. The add-on is consumed after use. Not the... Okay, I mean... I, I don't know the math to this. I forgot how many charges. I know like 8 charges... Is enough to heal a survivor. I think it's 8 or 16. I assume it's 8. So this, I feel like, is already better. Because brand new part would, like, increase the repair by, like, 10%. Which is just fucking ridiculous. Because if everyone bought a brand new part, and if they all successfully get the skill check, the generator would be, like, 35% done already. Like, in less than, like, 2 seconds. But the add-on gets consumed. I know, yeah, but, like... It's still powerful, it's still too much. So, is this good? I guess so. I mean, it doesn't make the brand new part. I mean, maybe it makes it to where they can't just keep toolboxes all the time? I mean, yes and no. I personally don't have any problems with toolboxes, unless like they abuse like the mechanics of it very well. Like, if it's just a random toolbox, that's fine. But brand new parts are big problems. I, I, I have no comment on this. I have to find, I don't know. Killer perks updated. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. What's the first one? Coup de gras. Coup de gras is great. Each time a generator is complete, grows in power. You gain two tokens with a maximum of five tokens. Consume. Oh my god. Oh, consume one token to increase the distance of your next lunch. That attack. is fucking it. You, you don't get what it. What is it? What did it do before? It did like forty percent. Oh, but now it's seventy percent, which is a lot better. That's almost double the distance. And you get two tokens whenever a generator is done. That is huge. Hmm. Dude, you know what? I might run this perk with Myers now. Oh, will that make him better? I mean, Coup de Gras when it first released, it was decent. It was decent. It wasn't a bad perk. It was decent. It did a very hefty, like, lunge attack, but the perk was so good that the the devs nerfed it. And now mm. it was shit. Now they're bringing it back. So it's not as good as it used to be, but this two tokens, that completely changes the perk. This could be like Pardon? a three or four out of five perk. Four stars out of five. Holy shit. That's that's huge. All right, what's next? All right, claustrophobia. Oh, this perk sucks. Let's see. Every time a generator is completed, all windows and vault locations are blocked for all survivors for the next thirty seconds. You um, see the aura of the vault locations blocked by claustrophobia for the duration. Th that's still stupid. This stupid perk. This perk fucking sucks. That's that's still stupid. It's still it's still dumb. It's fucking stupid. Wait, why is this stupid? Because whenever a generator is complete, you don't want to be in the area where the generator is complete. Especially for 30 seconds. Yeah, but that, if you're that... running around, that means they can't they can't vault pallets or anything. Oh. Right? Wait. wait. All does that, does that mean they... Does, oh, yeah. if this blocks pallets, then... I don't think it does block pallets, but if it does block vault pallets that are dropped, like vault locations, this yeah, could be, this I, could I be, think that means it blocks this pallets. Could be a then, huge right? perk. That would be pretty good, actually. Will I run it? 
No, because why would you ever be near an area that a generator is complete? But that's a no, 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 no. Run it with Blood Warden. Run it with Blood Warden. That's fucking stupid, Roshi. But you'll stall them all the time. Every time <laughs> they complete a gen, they get stalled. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. If, if if what you're saying is true, then this could actually be like a decent perk. If not, it's still a piece of shit perk. Hangman's trick. Oh, it turns into a scourge hook. Let's find out. Wait a minute, Hangman's trick is a is a pig perk. Does that mean pig is gonna get a buff? Because pig is desperate need of a buff. Gain a notification when someone is starting a sabotage. I'll be back. See the aura of any survivors within ten meters of a scourge hook. That is fucking crazy. How good is that? This used to be what Hangman Tricks does. Hangman Trick, when it first like released, used to be like the best aura reading perk. Whenever you pick up a survivor, anyone near any hook, you get to see their aura. Hmm. That's fu that was fucking crazy. Now the perk is just fu it's fucking useless now. However, now that Scorch hooks are a thing, there's only four Scorch hooks in the map, maybe eight if you have Monstrous Shrine. This perk does. Literally what it did before, but only for Scourge Hooks. Wait, what are Scourge Hooks? Scourge Hooks? Scourge. Scourge oh, Hooks. Scourge Hooks are, um... They're like unique hooks. They look the same, but for the killer, they're highlighted in white. They give off strong powers. Like, one of them is called Floods of Rage. Like, Scourge Hook Floods of Rage. If you hook a survivor on a Scourge Hook, the white hook, your power becomes activated. Uh, Floods of Rage... The power is whenever a survivor unhooks oh. someone from the scorch hook, everyone's auras are revealed for four seconds. Oh. Here's another one. Uh, if you another one's called uh, pain resonance, or whatever it's called. Whenever you hook a survivor on a scorch hook, the generator with the most progress explodes and loses fifteen percent progress. Huh. Yeah. Another one is. Um, gift of pain whenever a survivor is unhooked they get a major debuff until they are fully healed and when they're fully healed the survivor that healed them gets that debuff i think hmm. something like that yeah so this this scourge hook is you know while you're carrying a survivor any survivor within a scourge hook any scourge hook has their aura revealed I might run this perk. I love aura reading builds. Okay. Territorial Imperative. Probably one of the worst, if not the worst perk in the game. Territorial Imperative. Let's check it out. Unlocks potential in one aura reading ability. Survivor's aura is revealed to you for six seconds when they enter the basement and you are more than 24 meters away from the basement entrance. Territorial can only be triggered once every 45 seconds. Still a piece of shit perk. Terrible. Fucking terrible. Remember me. Each time your obsession loses a health state, you gain a token. Each token increases the time of opening the exit gate by 6 seconds up to a maximum of 24 seconds. Uh, the per obsession is not affected by remember me. Still a terrible perk. Terrible perk. Crowd control. Oh, they're changing crowd control. Really? The entity blocks a window for 60 seconds after f Is this perk changed? What well, used to be it before? Hiroshi, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Um, okay, so th th this does nothing. Hex crowd control is actually a very powerful perk. It's actually one of, like, one of the most powerful perks that I actually don't run for some reason. It's actually a really good perk. Um, I have no problem with this perk. Trill of Torment. This perk is fucking terrible. This perk is only bad for one reason. This perk has an amazing, amazing effect. Whenever you kick a generator, you are, you are undetectable for 30 seconds, which means you don't have a terror radius for 30 seconds. That's pretty good for just kicking a generator. Here's the problem. Whenever you kick a generator... The generator is highlighted to every survivor. 
Oh, so, so it's they the, already know where you're at. Exactly. They're all like, oh, he kicked that generator. Why is that generator lighted? Oh, he has Trail of Torment. He's undetectable. That little detail ruins the perk. If that, if the generator wasn't highlighted, the perk would be very, very good. But it's not, huh. because the developer, developers are assholes. So let's see what the perk does now. After kicking a generator, you become undetectable until the ge generator is... Wow, okay. Oh my god. They made it worse. They made it worse. <laughs> no way. They made it worse. They make it work. All right. So before it used to be thirty seconds of undetectable. Now it's you are undetectable until the generator stops regressing, which could be longer than thirty seconds. However, the generator still has its auras revealed, and you can only use this perk every minute, once yeah. every minute. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, could that be useful if, like, you were using, like, a really speedy character or something? No. No, no. absolutely not. The only reason why it won't be useful is because the generator's aura reveal is revealed to survivors. It's revealed yeah, to survivors. Yeah, but, like, what if you, in, after kicking the generator, just immediately went somewhere far away, like, where everyone else, like, where other generators well, are? Well, yes and no, that would work. But the fact that survivors can see which generator you are, they will be focused on that specific area and the locations around it. So they'll be extra wary, making you less sneaky. Hmm. It'll only work if you have like... If you're like... I don't know. If you're like Pinhead... Or trick, no, not trickster, or Deathslinger. That's the only perk I can think that, that actually works. Deathslinger's a pyramid head. That's it. It's a fucking t and those guys are hella tall. Uh, whatever, whatever. <coughs> well, next section is survivor perks. <coughs> oh, wow. Prove thyself. Ooh, they're changing. Prove thyself. For every survivor working on a generator within four meter, um, they just they nerfed it. But to be honest with you, it's still gonna be like one of the greatest perks of all time. So yeah, whatever. I I don't I don't really care about perks that let the survivors do the objective faster. I think there should be perks like that all the time. The only problem is there's literally only one objective in the game. There needs to be more objectives for survivors. There needs to be more objectives for survivors. There needs to be a way where killers actually have to go to different survivors. And that's about it, actually. If you do those those things, they're not simple things to do. They're very difficult things to implement. But if you find a way to do them, the game will be fucking insane every game will be insane so prove thyself just got a nerf who cares whatever we're gonna lift a good adjusted descriptions to indicate that it works for all blinds not just flashlights um okay we're gonna live forever it doesn't change that's pretty good all right because right. we're gonna live forever is actually a good perk blast mine they're changing blast mine i hope they don't because blast mine is an amazing perk Blast mine activates after completing a total of 50% worth of generators. After repairing the generator for at least 3 seconds, press the active ability to install a trap, which stays for 2 minutes. I guess they buffed it. They buffed it. Oh no, they're changing wiretap. Please, please, please don't change wiretap. That was too hard. Wiretap activates after 250%. I think that's a nerf, but that's fine. Generator, press uh, saw a spy trap. Generator, uh, affected generator. When the killer enters within 14 meters of the generator. 
Okay, so they're just changing numbers, so the, the, the perk still does what it needs to do, so it's not too bad. Saboteur, a piece of shit perk, let's see. Sees hooked auras in a 56 meter radius. That's fucking dumb. Just give the perk, like, infinite range. Scourge hooks are shown in yellow. Unlocks the ability to sabotage a hook without a toolbox, yes. Okay, sabotage is still a dumb perk. The reason why sabotage is not good is because sometimes when you're trying to sabotage a hook, sometimes it's the wrong hook and you gotta change it. However, if you do the sabotage action, realize that you're uh, disabling the wrong hook. If you go to the other hook without destroying the other hook, you still can't do it because the sabotage action is still like the game still thinks like you sabotage the hook for some reason. There needs to be no cooldown for this perk unless you actually disable the hook. Clairvoyance. Oh, okay. Activates when you plant or blooms. And... That's really good. That's actually really good. I like that. Clairvoyance is still a good perk. I'm never going to use it, but that's actually, I might use it. That's actually a really good perk. When within 5 meters of a carried survivors, you gain the haste effect. Ooh. <gasps> That's really good. Yes, you're going to see a lot of breakout. That's really good. Buckle up. <gasps> Buckle up is probably the worst survivor perk in the game, right next to No Mither. Huh. You know what Buckle up did? What? Buckle up, all it does is show the aura of a survivor when they're down on the ground and depending on what color they are it tells you how much they recover two things wrong one survive with friends will already even solo players will know if a survivor is already fully down from the ground it takes like 16 seconds to recover so that's fucking useless two you already have a, a symbol to show how much a survivor is recovered so that aura reading part makes it completely Fucking useless. They are reworking this perk. Let's see what they do with it. While healing a survivor in a dying state, you both can see the killer's aura. That is actually pretty good. When completing a healing, when completing healing a survivor from dying state to injured, that's actually pretty good. That's a better. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. You both can see the killer's. Aura. That's really good. Ooh, how'd you like that play? That's really good. Nice. Smash hit. Oh boy, smash hit. Let's see what happens. After stunning a killer... Four seconds. For 20 seconds. Yes. Yes, they finally buffed it. Thank I mean, you. So what was it before? Uh, it, it does the same thing. You, sm you, you stun a killer, you move like 150% faster. But the problem is, it has a cool... It gives you the exhaustion status. You know, it gives you a cooldown of 40 seconds. And the timer ah. doesn't go down if you are running, mm. because it's it's called an exhaustion. That that's what exhausted means. You are on a timer, and you the timer does not go down if you run. That's what exhaustion means. Yeah. This causes the exhaustion for twenty seconds instead of forty. That is huge. That's pretty good. That's pr that's pretty good. Spine chill, one of the best perks ever in the game and then they changed it now it's not as strong as it used to be but that's fine because spine chill was very very overused it was it was very strong get notified when the killer within 36 meters if the killer is within range and is looking at you with a clear line of sight your speed while repairing sabotaging healing pretty much your speed doing a lot of things increases by six percent that's good that's exactly what it's supposed to do in my opinion so before, Spine Chill used to be able, if a killer is looking in your direction, even if they can't see you, if it's through a wall, but if it's your direction, you get the buffs. Huh. Which was really, really good. But now, it has to be, if the killer is looking at you in a clear line of sight, which means if it's line of sight, like if they see you, if they see you past the bushes, even though you camouflaged, 
this perk will still activate. That's really good. Hmm. That's really good. All right. Killer tweaks. All right, let's see it. If the, if the killer comes within 10 meters of a cage, it will disappear and reappear within 10 meters. It used to be five. That's really good. I think that, I think that's really good. That's a really good change. The spirit. Mother-daughter ring. Oh, boy. The spirit. Let's see this. The movement speed bonus has been reduced by 25. It was 40. Thank you. That's really good. Thank you. Uh, dried cherry blossom. The killer's instinct range of dried cherry blossoms was reduced by 3 meters. It was 4. That's still good, I guess. Yeah. Good. This was a bug. Thank you. Origami crane. It was 10%. Alright, all right, all right, all right, all right. pretty good. <coughs> Rusty flute now increases the recovery state by 40. Plus 45. <coughs> okay, so it's just a bunch of reworks for, for add-ons. Pretty strong killer. The hag. <gasps> the hag is finally getting fucking changed. Please. Oh no, they're, they're just changing add-ons. Yeah, Never mind. It's just tweaks. Yeah. The movement speed boost has increased by 7.5 was 4 points. Holy shit. Oh, how'd you like that? Oh, huh, let me see. It looks like she got buffs. She has been reduced to 10 mm -hmm. seconds. This, this is... No. Oh my god, no. Mint Rag cannot be in the game. It makes it makes the hag one of the strongest killers in the game. No, you cannot have this perk in the game. You cannot have that. Hag should not increase phantasm traps. It's just, so it's just a bunch of buffs. Yeah. Water lock shoots. You know what this does? I think this makes killer. I think this makes hag. I think base kit hag with this add on makes her the fastest killer. In terms of movement speed. Hmm. I think. Also, this is rebalancing a bunch of maps. Okay, bug fixes. Who cares about that? Pause, blah, blah, blah. The UI, let's see. Uh... Okay. So. Hmm. In short, Nicholas Cage is in the game. That's all that matters. Congratulations, Sal. You're now a reaction streamer. Am I reacting, Hiroshi? Yeah, but we can't see it. Okay. This is just my personal opinion. Man, that was the shittiest run in the game I've been. Yep. If I was designing this game, honestly, I would probably rework every single survivor perk. Some survivor perks are okay, like adrenaline, but s adrenaline, in my opinion, has one major problem. I hate the fact that if you unhook a survivor, they are fully healed with adrenaline. I think that's fucking stupid. You should not be able to do that as survivor. Then there are perks that I also don't agree with, like like survivor, like like, like killer perks, such as like. Star Struck, but I think they changed Star Struck. <coughs> Every time I hear this song, I just hear. Da -da 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 <laughs> nope, shit. I fucked it up. You will buy me Nicolas Cage. You don't have to buy me anything, Mariah, uh, Naomi. I will buy myself Nicolas Cage if that's the case. Okay, that's all there is to it. Oh, I hope you like. I hope you like my background. Mm. Well, I can't see it. But what is it? Nobody see it fucks now? with a blowfish. Oh no, I mean I can't see it because I'm not looking at the stream right now. Oh, mm. it's the Breaking Bad one. Okay. That... Oh, same one. Yeah. yeah, it's the best. Nobody fucks with a blowfish. All right, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed this stream. I was, um, this is just my first impressions. I, you know what, if Nicolas Cage is in the game, I will play him. 
All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Hmm. And I will see you later.